Hey everybody, I'm Katie with Factory Direct Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make this burlap wreath. What you're going to need for this project is a wider wreath frame, some burlap ribbon, wire cutters, pipe cleaners, and a pair of scissors. So once you get your materials gathered, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my 12 inch wire wreath form and it is divided up into one, two, three, four, five sections. And each section has um, those four metal wires. So in each of the sections, you're gonna do three loops going this way, and then three segments of that, just like so. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and fold our, our burlap ribbon in half, and I'm gonna tuck it under uh, one of the dividing wires of the wreath form. And you're going to create just this kind of overlap. It's like the fold up. And you want to secure that with a piece of pipe cleaner. Now, this is just a normal pipe cleaner, but I cut it in half, so it's about five to six inches long. And I'm just going to wrap it around to hold uh, that anchor in place. And make sure you get it nice and tight because you don't want this coming undone and your whole wreath to unravel. Okay, once that's done, you're going to tuck that initial loop down through the back so you don't see it. And you're going to make a loop with the burlap ribbon and tuck it down under the first little wire part of the wreath form. Once you have that done, you're going to twist the ribbon and pull it up through the center. And it's the center is just that tiny little gap, just like so. And then we're going to twist the ribbon again. And we're going to pull it through the final wire opening. Just like that. So now I'm going to repeat this step um, actually until the entire wreath form is covered. So I'll show you another one. We'll go ahead and keep going so you kind of get a better idea. Um, just know that this takes a lot of time and a lot of practice to get the bows and the ribbons looking right and you're going to have to play with it a bunch and reorganize uh, the little ribbons and pull them apart and stuff to get a look that you like uh, but just be patient keep working at it and it does look really good when the whole wreath is finished so here i go again i'm going through the first loop and i'm twisting that little ribbon pushing it up through the wire form just like so And there we go. I'm just gonna keep working at this until the entire form is covered and I will check back in with you guys um, once I'm ready to, um, I guess, bind off sort of uh, of this wreath. So when you finished your first section of the wreath, you're gonna go ahead and create another anchor for it. So I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner again and this is just a five to six inch piece of pipe cleaner. And I'm wrapping it around my last loop and tying it nice and tight to make sure it stays in place. Once that's done, you can tuck the ends behind the bow so they don't show and look ugly and continue adding loops to your wreath form. So this is the same as last time where you twist, fold the ribbon in half, give it a twist, and stick the loop down through the wreath form. Now, um, I think I forgot to mention this the first time, these loops should be about two inches high and uh, you can fluff them up nice and thick after you finished each section. Um, you can do as many rows as you want. I think I mentioned three earlier, but as I've been working, I found that I liked four in that last section just because I want my wreath to be nice and full. So it really is up to you. Um, as I said, just play around with it until you find something that you're happy with. So I finally finished um, doing the loops on my wreath and now it's time to kind of bind off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the burlap ribbon and I'm going to use um, one last pipe cleaner to tie it. So I'm just going to trim a regular pipe cleaner in half using my wire cutters and we're going to create the final loop, push it through that metal frame.
and secure it with the pipe cleaner. There's kind of a view of what the back looks like. Uh, it's not the neatest ever, uh, but no one sees the back, so. And the front looks gorgeous. Um, so you just tie that pipe cleaner on there. Um, and then once again, just go around and fold any of the excess pipe cleaner down through the back. And there's what your finished wreath will look like. Now you go ahead and pull out all of the ribbons because you know you folded them in half. So now we're just pulling them out, making them this big, full, beautiful wreath. Just like so. So here's one final shot just of my finished wreath. Um, I've got all of those kind of spread out now and you can see it looks really full and nice. Um, just so you know, this is a very time consuming project. This took me a little over an hour to complete. Uh, so just prep for that. Um, the thicker you make it, obviously the more ribbon you'll need. Um, it does take almost one and a half um, of the thick burlap ribbons if you want it this full. Um, if you only want to do three in between each of the metal things, you can get it with one roll. Um, so that's just up to you and the look that you're going for. Anyways, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. Thanks for watching.